my name is Jackie and you are watching Super Enthused. Today we are at the IAPA Attractions Expo here at the Orange County Convention Center. IAPA is the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. This event is geared at industry professionals, those in the amusement park industry to showcase new ride technology, everything from roller coaster vehicles to animatronics to dark ride technology to bounce houses. It is really, really cool and it is an inside glimpse into the industry of amusement parks and theme parks. I am very excited and honored to be here today as Perez to cover this event and show you guys some of the cool, exciting new things that are on display today. I know of at least three things specifically that I am excited to see for myself and show you guys today. So without further ado, let's get into the IAPA Expo and let's start taking a look at all of the cool stuff on the show floor. Let's go. Ooh, cool carpet. Oh my gosh, right when you walk in, you're hit with it. So you know how I mentioned that there are at least three things that I'm excited to see today? This is one of them and it's the first thing you see right when you walk in. The new icebreaker roller coaster vehicle. So if you remember, I've mentioned this on social media and I did mention it in a video as well. Me and Sam, Expedition Theme Park, signed a beam for this coaster. So every time we ride it, and oh, we're gonna ride it, we're gonna know our signatures are on a support beam for this incredible new coaster. That's exciting. I just met one of the architects who worked on this ride and he was so friendly and kind and he's just as excited about this opening as we are. So it looks like each vehicle is three rows with two seats per row. <laughs> it's got the comfort collars like Tigris. Um, I wonder how it's gonna feel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait. You know I'm gonna be there when this ride opens and I'm gonna be sitting in this seat, riding this thing, hopefully front row. So this is going to be the first roller coaster on a cruise ship and check this out. All right, they're letting me sit on it. So cool, it's like a, it feels like a We have the bus bars here um, and it is a rack and pinion system so we have a rack alongside the track throughout the whole track and ele the electric motor is inside the car oh. and that's how we're gonna propel the car. Wow so it's being constructed in Munich I'm told and then it'll yes. be dismantled and taken aboard the ships. Yes exactly. This giga coaster is going to Kings Island and it's called Orion. Oh that looks like a lot of Fun. One of these days, guys, we're gonna get out to Kings Island. We're gonna ride this, and we're gonna know we saw it here first. This is a B&M coaster that is similar to Mako, which is a ride that I absolutely love. So I'm pumped. This ride, wow, oh my gosh. This is so cool. The front vehicle is like a hamster wheel you just spin around in as it moves along the track. We've seen a lot of photos and videos of this and I've been excited to see it in person. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of not spinning. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, this is a cool booth. Eworks Pro has got this LED technology that you see along a lot of ride systems all over the place. You'll see these on Ferris wheels and the edges of rides. One of the things that I mentioned being excited to show you is the Iron Gwazi ride vehicle here at the RMC booth. It is so impressive. We've been watching it come up at Busch Gardens. Every time we visit, we pop in to take a look at the construction of the track going up. And I showed that in my Christmas Town video recently. So if you want to look at the track going up, take a look at that. This is a view that we are probably not going to get as guests once this ride opens. So soak it in. Look at those teeth. Look at those eyes. Look at the beautiful design, paint, and carvings. It looks like a comfortable seating situation. We're gonna be there right when this opens and we are gonna ride this ASAP. We have found some animatronics over here, you guys. Let's check them out. Hello. Hello, Mr. Pirate. 
You look really cool. Look at this wizard. We have, oh, moving chickens, bears, pappies of every variety, Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. I could just stand here all day watching these this army of animatronics just wave and gesture and gesticulate. This is what I'm talking about right here. We're definitely here to see wizards. Look at this parrot. We've located the Intamin booth and this is another one of the things that I was very excited to see and to show you. And this may look familiar to some of you who have been to Universal Orlando Resort and ridden Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. I was there on opening day and I will link that video in the description below because it was an incredible day. You can either sit on the motor car or in the sidecar and so far I've only been able to sit in the sidecar but one of these days I'm getting on that motorbike because on the motorbike is where you can press a button on the actual ride. Another ride vehicle they have on display is for the Pantheon from Busch Gardens Williamsburg and it looks like the restraint is up so I'm wondering if that means I can sit in it. I don't think you should go on it like that though. No, no, you should definitely push this further down. Push it. You ride this. <laughs> push it down. Like that. Oh, you're trapped in the square lip now. I'm really excited to get to Bush Gardens Williamsburg and now I'm even more excited to ride this. Woo! Gotta do hands up. Gotta do hands up. <laughs> Here we have Nebulas by Zamperla. I was just told they own Luna Park in New York and we've got some riders ready to go. They're dangling their legs. They're ready for this to take off. So riders are loaded at the top already, but they're still being loaded on the bottom. Noises are happening. The entire thing is rising up. The vehicles at the top are go, go, go. Vehicles at the bottom. You can see these large arms that are going to swirl around. There's so much kinetic movement going on here. Wow, that is really cool. There is so much movement. There's so much happening. You are spinning at multiple levels in this. <laughs> I can hear the sounds of glee coming from the riders. That's always a good sign. People are having a great time on this. I actually have not been able to ride the Skyliner at Disney yet, but here we go. Here's a Skyliner vehicle, and it looks like I can get inside of it, and whoa, this is very different than the Skyliner. I could have a business meeting in here. All right, let's get inside the vehicle and go for a ride. That's it, I can technically say I've been in it, right? I won't, but I could if I wanted to. They've got a whole pamphlet in here with information about it. Let's see what we can find out. One day, one day. This is very cool. So as I mentioned, this is meant for members of the amusement park industry. So there is detailed information for buyers, amusement park professionals and others, and also the media and press here to cover these awesome, exciting technologies for all of you. So there is a ton of detailed information here and I'll put links to that in the description below so that you can review and learn more if you'd like to because it's very interesting to get that insider look at the technology and vehicles and thought and care and artistry and engineering that goes into all aspects of the amusement park and theme park industry. All right, let's go look at some animatronics. Here we've got a smoking train and we were just gifted a train whistle. How cool is that? Oh, this is quite lovely. JRCO Scenic 2020 Express. 
Jackie here, is that possible? Of course, Alex. Hello, Jackie. How are you? He Hello, I'm well. How are you? What is your name? My name's Owen. I'm sorry, Owen, I didn't hear you. Are you having a good day, Jackie? Owen, I'm having a wonderful day. IAPA Expo is incredible. Are you having a good day? Yes, I really enjoyed meeting all these people. You must be meeting so many people who are fascinated to talk with you. Yes, I've met, spoke to hundreds of people today. Wow, how many do you think? Oh, maybe 300? Oh my God. He's very precise. May I take a photo with you? Yes, please do. Thank you. Oh, and it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Jackie. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest Have of your day. day. Thank you, you too. Santa mail and a massive Christmas tree. This is for all of those Christmas amusement parks and events out there you can go inside or you can at least look inside oh you may i make one thank you this is a beautiful little christmas cottage on the floor creeks this walk-in christmas tree is made by duncan and they created designed and installed the harry potter christmas elements in the wizarding world of harry potter what we showed in our last post, which I will link below so that you can see the incredible work that they do. Let's look at the outside of the tree again. And they do all sorts of themed entertainment like this. They, he showed me a Swarovski crystal Christmas tree they created. Absolutely beautiful work. Whoa! We're looking here at the Dragonfly flame system. We've got the... We didn't expect that. That is super cool. So those giant flames you see coming out of attractions are designed by manufacturers like this. Last is here we go. Wow. Is that cool. is cool. And here is the final cool thing that I have been so excited to show you ever since I saw some pictures of it online. Tell me, what kind of fish has a large power bill? The electric eel. Really, giant? Do I get job? Wow. That was pretty bad. Okay, how about this one? What kind of fish is black and white, black and white, black and white, black and white? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. We knew you were going to say that, Garfield. Funniest fish in the ocean, boys. The clownfish, of course. <laughs> he made Odie laugh. He made Odie laugh with that one. What kind of fish do you see in the space? Oh. <laughs> hey guys, that one gets what a kind of fish is really good at fighting? The swordfish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eye movements. Look at his tail wagging. Uh -huh. out of the boat, it's important to fight the really loud fish. If you're scared stiff, it's a lot easier to catch. Garfield, I don't think you can catch fish with a pizza. This is going to be shipped to one of the Six Flags parks worldwide. These are so cool. They have magnetic eyes, and I've been so excited to see them. You eat the worms, Odie, but they're for the fish. Look at the smooth texture of John's skin. Look at Garfield's eyes blinking. You're supposed to wait an hour after eating before going into the water. Because since you're always eating, you'll probably need to wait for 33 hours. Hardy, har, har. I like how Odie howled at some of the jokes. He like winces at some of the jokes. He reacts based on how funny they are. You know, the next He's a good boy. go fishing at night, I think we would have a better time catching fish when they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's that bicycle looking thing that I've seen some photos of that doesn't appear to be in action right now. But it sure looks unique and cool. That's kind of how it looks like it works. Wow, that looks scary and cool. Where are you going, Alex? Help! Oh no! Oh. No! We're going oh, in. Oh, hi. He was just there all along. It's like a UV party. It is. It's a UV party. Come on. 
No, we don't want the exit. We want to stay in here for longer. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love it. Wow, you guys, I have had the best day at IAPA Expo today. Getting this inside look at the amusement park industry and getting to see kind of the behind the scenes and workings of attractions and how they're designed and manufactured. This has been incredible and we will definitely be back next year. This is my first year here as official press covering this for you and we will be back as I said to cover all the exciting announcements next year. Um, for now, we need to find a way to get out of here. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and let me know what you think, because I love to hear from you. So from the IAPA Expo 2019, here from this glowing bounce house maze, we are gonna call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you for the next adventure, and until then, stay glowing.